Today I'm going to be doing the unboxing and review of the SeaTech. Alright, so let's see what's inside. Comes with a bag, instruction manual. The charger, it comes with a fused connection for the battery terminals and also a connection for just using regular springs and connections. A nice feature of the SeaTech is that it does battery testing. You do not have to plug it into the wall for the battery testing to work. Hook it up to the car and it will show you where you're at. So to hook it up for battery testing or for charging. Now these are remote terminals, this is not the battery itself. And there's a negative terminal over here for testing or also for charging. Make sure those are on correctly or tightly. And then as you can see, once you get the get it set up and you have the correct power adjusted, it will tell you the level of the battery. It's hard to tell in this light, but it's green. Alright, so it has started charging. One, two, and three are on, so it looks like desulfation, soft start, and bulk charging are occurring. Over time, it'll continue to move to the right and we'll monitor the progress. As you can see it could take up to a maximum of eight hours for the soft start and a maximum of 20 hours for the bulk depending on where your battery is when it starts. Just seeing how the current draw is Everybody's favorite from the last video. It is warm to the touch, but it's not hot. Here's ambient. And you can see it is drying current. It's about 104, 105 degrees. Indication of how much current it's drying. It's an indirect measurement, but you can tell that uh, it is drying more current. So just checking out the temperature. The highest I saw in here was 140. See? So it's been about two hours. Uh, it's moved on to the absorption, which is really a finishing charge. And I just want to do another temperature check. Current should start dying down. That doesn't mean that it's died out quite yet. So it looks like you're still around a maximum of 130. So it has come down a bit. All right, so now about three hours in. And as you can see, it's cooled off quite a bit. That means the current is curtailing, like it shows. All right, so six hours later, as you can see, it's cooled off quite a bit, meaning there's a lot less current. So as the current's dying down, it should be getting closer to doing the, uh, the analyze phase. So here we are seven hours in, and it looks like it's done charging. I missed 5 and 6 and it went to 7 as well so I guess everything was okay with the battery which should be expected. After 13 days the last light kicked on meaning that it went into pulse mode. You'll see it on the paper there number 8 and that's when voltage drops below 12.7 to bring it back up. 